Welcome back, everybody, to a very familiar area, which is, I mean, of course, for the past few episodes, we've been around the dragons, but here we are. We are back in the city, and I've got some amazingly cool things to show you. Of course, you can see a few little improvements which we've done around the place on streams, but just in general, some really cool changes have happened to the city outside of us being, uh, of course, doing our stuff. We, we've got some really cool things here. So first of all, you guys know this. You guys know the street. Let's just get straight into it and show you how, how this place is looking. And of course, you know what? I really miss this place. We've we've been away for it, from it for two episodes? Three episodes? Two. Yeah. No, three. We even built the mountain. I'm forgetting about the mountain. Uh, but it's been a while and it's, it's great to be back. I showed you guys this garden recently and I think it looks fantastic. I've gone ahead and put in some streets, some street lamps, a little bit of a cart over here. We would have horses, but you guys know these horses. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. That's the one we try to we try to put leads down to. Hopefully that can be fixed sometime soon. But just in general, man, like we haven't been here in so long. It's it's fantastic to be back here. And today we're going to be building a build build because of course we've been doing a lot of organic stuff, and I'm loving that stuff. I'm loving the new things we are doing with the dragon. We're going to get that dragon a face very soon. That's a matter of time. But currently, it's a, a faceless dragon. I, I shouldn't have named <laughs> I shouldn't have named the last video the faceless dragon. I, I mean it was just it didn't have a face, you know. Uh, but here we go. This is what I've done. I've gone ahead. Th these are a few little pieces we're gonna have to work out. But overall, it's a, it's a matter of matter of getting it right. Can I get that? There we go. So what I've done is I've put this extra little piece going out here just to go around with the land as we've gone over here. And then we've got this little step up here, which of course does have these acacia blocks showing which isn't ideal but we'll eventually fix them out and uh of course i i decided this is my this is my train of thought right so this was done on a stream quite recently and right around here uh what i was what i was trying to do was trying to think how do we fill this area up i didn't want to put a big building here i thought that would look kind of ugly on the front uh, I also do want this area around here to be a slightly more industrial area so we're probably going to put a factory around here i think that'll be cool but this one, I just didn't want it to be the front of the city. It was looking bland. Look at that. Just brown and browns and grays, which, I mean, in all fairness, does work very well. But I wanted to get a bit of color in, and I thought that would work really well. Bear in mind, this is not going to be here, this jungle. So we have to do something with that. And I thought that would be a really cool place to add it. So we've done this piece here on stream. Just got this nice little curve to it. Kind of odd shaped as well, which is always ideal. The more I'm learning, the more I'm playing, the more I'm learning that odd shapes, weird shapes, far, far trump the uh, the standard sorts of shapes. So definitely a good idea for those. Let's just stop there. And uh, it definitely turned out well. So just have a few gardens. We'll probably put in some lamps. We'll put in maybe one or two seats or something like that. Make it a little bit more of a recreational area so you can come out, look out this way. Because remember, these people in the city, they are, they are definitely... They, they, they don't realize what's going on outside. They've got this beautiful place to look at where there's a war being waged out that way. You know, we've got to make this look that way. Now, today, we're getting started on the build for today, which is which is awesome, by the way. <laughs> I've, I've missed it a lot. Just building, building. And what we are doing today is we're going to be building a bridge, which we haven't actually done in a fairly long time. But this is going to be slightly different to your, your average bridge. Is this one is on a diagonal which can be quite difficult. So we can only hope we can get this right. But we're doing this on a 45 degree angle. So just pretty much going diagonally from the front there to here. There we go. And what I'm just doing is, I'll, I guess I'll take you through a few of the cool little tricks that I, I use at least in terms of getting these, these more stranger shapes right. So first of all, we're just getting this lined up. It seems kind of like a silly thing, but of course it's important because what we're going to do next is we're going to start working out the width and where we're going to be putting it. So I think something like maybe this wide. So if we if we put something in here, so if we say for instance we use this line and we just did two over there and then one more in there like that, that'll be a pretty good width to walk across. Now it's not going to stay this low. We're going to bump it up a bit, but getting this la this layout over here will help us out so much. So picture this, right? You're walking across, you're going across to this side. This side, of course, is also gonna be a, a recreational area. You can kind of step out a little bit forward, maybe have a little bit of a, a dock for some more wealthier people to get on their boats outside of that dock, perhaps, who knows? But the idea is currently just to, to have a little bit of a place here. And I've, I've had this thought for this island 
for quite some time and we finally are doing it. It's kind of just been that, that one thing that keeps looking at me. I'm like, I have to do something with that. Plus, look at this, and you can see it already forming right now, is from up the top here, there's already a little bit of a weird stick out from the city. So it's not just big chunks. We've got these pieces here. We've got this little extension out that way. That's going to be awesome. Now, there's one extra thing which we are doing with this, which is going to make it significantly cooler to another bridge compared to being diagonal. Of course, it's awesome. Are we going to try and put on a roof to this thing? Now, this is where the diagonal and this cool idea come in because, of course, the roof being diagonal is not a very easily th easy thing to do. So that's where I'm going to have quite a few little struggles. Right now, I think what I'll do is you can kind of see my logic. I'm going to be doing this very kind of good sh good width over here, good shape over here. We're going to be pushing it up with a few of these. I guess I need to go pick up some more of them. We're going to be pushing it up probably about this height. Not too tall. It's just enough for maybe a, a small boat to, like a, a rowboat to go underneath. But not a ship, of course. Ships will have to go all the way around it. And I guess people could also just stand here and watch the ships go by. That would be a pretty cool... This would actually be the ideal spot to watch ships go, go by. Man, that's actually cool. It would also be an ideal point for a tower, but that's not going to happen. So, yeah, people could come across here. We'll have a step up a little bit, step down a little bit over here. And then we'll have this roof going over it, which I, I think it's, well, as far as it's in my head right now, it's going to look good. But as far as it is in terms of getting it on there, that's going to be the struggle. But it's it's what we're down here for. We, we're here to do challenging builds, I guess, and make little bits of challenges here and there. Even though this realistically is not the most difficult, but it's it's a fun, a fun little bit of a, a mind game, I guess, to work this one out. Quick little progress update. Okay, so what we've done is I've managed to get a little bit of a roof design going on here. It looks a bit weird from where we're standing, and you'll see exactly why this is the case. There's a few little things which kind of bug me a little bit, but don't worry, we'll be able to fix them up. So, first of all, as, as I say, we're doing a diagonal, so bear this in mind. This is probably one of the more difficult... Uh, just putting anything on a diagonal is significantly more difficult than any other thing and uh, I take my hat off to anyone who builds <laughs> builds stuff in diagonal they are they're crazy let me tell you that there's some really difficult things with building on a 45 degree yeah you don't realize them until you get there so basically what I've decided to do is I went for a very flat roof at first I didn't show you guys because I was kind of just playing around with a few things and eventually I got this design a little bit of a, a dip up and down and I think that goes very well it looks a little bit Kind of like a, if, if we were going to try and do an oriental build, I think this kind of a shape would go really well. But it works in here, in my opinion. We've got a lot of these sorts of uh, weirder shapes in here, and I think that could go really well. Let me try and point one out, for instance. I guess I guess the, the dock front itself has got this very... I, I like to think of it as eagle wings a kind of shape. Let's go over here. You see that? Like an eagle. There we go. Flapping its wings. That's what I kind of see when I look at that. And I feel like this over here with a little bit of an arch like that, it doesn't not fit in with the rest of the city. So I thought I'd let you in with a little bit of my uh, my progress with this. Of course, it's it's a very it seems like a very basic build. It's a very small build, but it it's got so much more to it. And this is actually taking me a lot a lot longer to get this roof done than I expected. But it's a lot of work getting in behind these things. So what my next strategy is is of course to keep going with this is to put it in some railings and for those I've decided I would go for a similar point to what I've got over here which is one of these which we've done reasonably uh, I wouldn't say too recently I think we did this uh, probably two uh, one world download ago I guess uh, but this little one here where we've got these pieces here these little flower beds out the front I want to do something like that but of course we can't use this exact same design this is a very nice prim and proper one whereas this one with it being kind of jagged and ru like rushy, what rushy, rough, <laughs> I don't know what rushy is, that's a new word, but uh, basically it just looks very rough, and I don't think we could really do much with that in terms of, in terms of getting those straight lines there, which is definitely what makes that last build, that last build, uh, we've got some of, it, it looks weird to see the normal color grass again, <laughs> after putting grass in, that looks like, uh, still, that's still not normal, okay, we, it turns out we're not anywhere near a jungle, but uh, Probably around, actually there, that, that would be jungle in there, so we must be super close. But this is of course uh, ocean or river or something like that, which is making these look a little bit weirder. But yeah, something like this I think will work quite well, just to make this area in here 
a little bit more bright, lively, and also uh, kind of give it a bit more detail because we have to look for any simple thing we can do for detail and I think this is a, a simple thing we could do. Yeah, that's cool. I can box this in very easily. Now, before we go any further, I am going to quickly go ahead and burn some of these diamond blocks. Let's just let them all, all burn over here. What are you talking about, Jancy? There's no burning. Uh, by the way, what, if you're wondering what we're doing, watch this. Goodbye. Diamond blocks. That was 14 diamond blocks there. And the reason we're doing 14 diamond blocks right there, why we're we getting rid of 14 diamond blocks out of this world, is because we are welcoming 14 new patrons into our Hobbit Hole of Patrons, which is currently not opened. So if you guys don't know about it, right there, that's the beautiful hole of the Hobbit Hole. Uh, we'll stop over there and push the button. The door is now open. Fantastic. And what we are doing is we're going to be welcoming 14 new members to our Hobbit Hole around here, which is uh, basically our way of, I mean, we can't really say any more thank you to, to how uh, supportive these people are. Well, there was some crazy lag there for me. I was actually, I was waiting for this to work. Uh, but pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to welcome 14 people who help me out a lot every month on uh, Patreon and of course have access to the server and uh, just are, are really cool to cool to help us out. So here we go. Let's let's first of all go through a builder's mind, a builder's mind over there, shake and bake, eagle fam, of course. And now we're starting a brand new room. Look at that. <laughs> Conveniently, uh, a freshly built room right over here. There's a few little odd lighting glitches, in fact, which is very strange. Uh, however, that's just Minecraft, I guess. So then, of course, we got Ellie over there. We've got D Doc, Pixel Ash, Zyvin. Dr. Decent, Lendo, and then we've still got some more around here. Black Cat, and we'll start with Black Cat there. So, Black Cat over there, Rizzy Roll. Oh, man, we, we this happened to Husky. I misclicked, and now I'm going to have to redo it, because that's just not going to say the name when we go up to it. Our Wolf, and... The, oh, we've still got two, Blake and Nectronic. So, everybody here, of course, guys, thank you very much to all of you guys. And if you guys are wondering what that is, of course, as I say, it is the patron members who, who have their spot in this world. So by the way, what I was saying is, uh, it says Rizzy Roll's head, whereas I just wanted to say Rizzy Roll. So what we have to quickly do, because I've actually got one of these here this time, we're gonna have to quickly get rid of these here. And by the way, my diamond supply, that is getting awfully low. After the other day, I maybe, may, may or may not have lost a pair of boots. Ah, look at that. It was as I jumped up there, that must have happened to me before, but there we go. Rizzy Roll in here as well. So everybody in here, thank you so, so much. I appreciate it a ridiculous amount. So thank you very, very much for that. But the other day, my story about my boots was I was busy. I threw an enderpearl into the, into an end portal just before I went, just before I went through. I realized when I went back through the end, the, the enderpearl was going to be in lava. So I had to take off everything and run back through and kind of just sacrifice myself for the sake of being uh, being alive with all my items. However, I must have forgotten to take off my boots. Very smart, I know. But I can't tell you the amount of diamonds I've gone through to try and get these boots back with the Feather Falling Boots. Let's just say a ridiculous amount and leave it at that. But yes, let's go back to the build. And we're back at the build. Look at that. Definitely a massive improvement to this place. Although it's, uh, it isn't completely finished on the inside here. I've got some ideas for things that I want to add in. However, they do require a bit of lighting, and practically what I'm adding in is some lighting. Uh, I want to put in a lamppost somewhere around here, and the reason, by the way, for these little gaps is... Remember, remember in the beginning of this episode when I mentioned something about a little bit of a dock? I think it'll be great to have a little bit of a dock going off this side, a small dock going off this side as well, and that would be... Well, pier, I guess, not a dock, a pier or something like that. Going off the sides here, I think that would go really well. Not too far, probably about like two or three blocks out, just for a little bit of a step. Then around here, I think this has got a really nice feel as you walk through here. Consider that we, we've we kind of handicapped ourselves by going with the diagonal. I think that works really well. Just going through then, and surprisingly well, in fact, if, if anything, walking up here. There's just that little piece there, which kind of bugs me, but it's not too, too bad. Look at that. That's a nice, it's, it's got a nice feel to it. You just feel kind of, when you walk through, it feels kind of cozy, warm. I don't know. It's just, it's a nice, nice kind of walk through there. And specifically this side, you see all the, the gardens in front of you there as well. A great place to step off. If you're here to visit the, the, uh, the Royals over here, you step off on these docks, walk through and you see that there. That's a very nice kind of an entrance. Keep you away from these docks, 
but you're gonna have to go through the town i think that's awesome but for today guys i think that will do it for today's episode i hope you've enjoyed this slightly different uh, change of pace of course uh with an actual build versus a dragon uh but we'll be getting that dragon finished up very very soon so thank you so so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one